Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2002 EC paper and this question is related to digital circuits. The gates G1 and G2 in the figure have propagation delays of 10 nanoseconds and 20 nanoseconds respectively. If the input VI makes an abrupt change from logic 0 to logic 1 at time t is equal to t0, then the output waveform V0 is. So, what will be the output waveform at V0 if the input is going to be changing a transition from 0 to 1 at t is equal to t0 and it has given that when the gates having the propagation delays of G1 has 10 nanoseconds, G2 has 20 nanoseconds. G1 has 10 nanoseconds of propagation delay. 10 nanoseconds of propagation delay. So, this is 10 nanoseconds and it has 20 nanoseconds of propagation delay. Remember that one. And look at this one. What are the inputs for G1? G1 is going to be given with input size only VI. That implies nothing but GI changes. GI that is G1. G1 output changes. Output of G1 changes when VI changes. But a delay of 10 nanoseconds should be considered. Okay but a delay of 10 nanoseconds. Output will change whenever input changes at that time output of G1 changes but the change is going to be taking place after 10 nanoseconds because it has the delay of 10 nanoseconds. Next, if you are going to see output of G2 output of G2 output of G2 is equal to okay that you can write it as output of G1 for example output of G1 G1 output we assume it as Vx okay so this node think it as Vx is going to be the node so output of G1 it is going with exclusive R operation of Vi so that implies nothing but Vx output of G1 is Vx exclusive Vi so output of G2 is function of two variables one is Vi the other is Vx so output of G2 changes either okay VI changes or VX changes VX changes or VI changes or both changes but but the change reflected at the output but after 20 nanoseconds of delay but after 20 nanoseconds output will change okay whenever the any of the vi is going to be get changed that change is going to be reflecting after 20 nanoseconds because it has got the propagation delay of 20 nanoseconds so based on this information now we will draw now now we will draw the output waveform for v naught as well as vx so that we will see what is the right diagram out of this four okay So next, this is what the diagrams indicated and we will go with this fresh one. So assume that one, this is VI. So VI, this is VI and it is output of G1 which is nothing but VX, output of G1 which is nothing but Vx in our case and next we are going with this is output of G2 output of G2 that is nothing but V0 so over here at t is equal to T0 at t is equal to T0 the input is going to be making a transition from input is making a transition from 0 to 1 at T0 so it is going to make a transition like this and it is continued okay now before t naught before t naught a steady state situation has been occurred okay before t naught the value of vi is equal to for t less than t naught okay 
vi is equal to 0 and under steady state what you are going to get is nothing but vi is 0 and here also you will get 0 so that 0 bar this is acting as inverter since for a NAR gate both the inputs are tied together by that time it simply act as inverter so you are going to get 1 over here 1 0 is nothing but you will get output as 1 so output will be at logic 1 condition that is under steady state because we are applied a long before that VA is equal to 0 so that now it will be under steady state under that steady state what we are saying is nothing but VA is equal to 0 and VX is equal to 1 and V0 is equal to 1 these are going to be the steady state situations so that VX will be at one condition VX will be at 1 ok Vx will be at 1 and V0 is also at 1 V0 will be also at 1 now at t is equal to t0 the input is taking transition from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 is nothing but G1 is affected G2 is also affected so consider the G1 first G1 is affected so whenever 0 to 1 at that time output will change from 1 to 0 that 1 to 0 will take place after 10 nanoseconds if it is t0 at that time after 10 nanoseconds the output will change from 1 to 0 because it has got the propagation delay of 10 nanoseconds so the time what we are going with is nothing but in nanoseconds so after 10 nanoseconds input is even though the input changes at t is equal to t0 but the output changes at t is equal to t0 plus 10 so it is making 1 to 0 transition and later input is not changing so that it continues in the same way so this is what the waveform you will get at the vx that is output of gate 1 now the same vi is going to be affecting the g2 also because g2 is also connected with vi so whenever vi changes from at t is equal to t0 output is going to be affected after 20 nanoseconds whenever it is changing from 0 to 1 at that time 1 1 what it happens at t is equal to 0 the values present is nothing but 1 1 just above this one 1 and already it is at 1 1 1 so you can think in this way now take the values like this at t is equal to 0 plus at t is equal to t naught plus the vi value is 1 as well as output of g1 is also at 1 so 1 1 you will get 1 1 whenever you are giving it to x naught gate xr gate 1 plus 1 uh, it is xr gate 1 1 is nothing but output will be 0 so output has to go for 0 but it will go to 0 only after 20 nanoseconds ok the output of g2 will change because of 1 1 condition after t is equal to t naught input is changing from 0 to 1 but by that time output of gate 1 is at 1 so both will be 1's both 1's are nothing but output has to be 0 so output has to 0 that is response of output will be only after propagation delay so after 20 nanoseconds this is what after 20 nanoseconds it is at 10 so it is changing from 1 to 0 ok this is with respect to vi but again if you are going to check this is what we are going with at t naught we have seen at t naught vi is going to be getting changed so that because you are getting g1 and g2 are going to be getting changed and g2 is also function of vx that is output of gate 1 is input for the gate 2 so that now look at this one at t is equal to 10 nanoseconds the input of vx that is input vx is nothing but output of gate 1 is changing from 1 to 0 so at this point that is you consider this one now consider 10 plus 10 plus implies nothing but over here the value is 0 over here the value of vx is 0 and the value of vi will be at 1 now the inputs for this g2 at t is equal to 10 plus that is 11 12 like this at greater than 10 the inputs are 0 1 0 1 for the xr gate is nothing but output will be 1 output will be 1 is nothing but output has to go to 1 but when it will go to 1 at t is equal to 10 nanoseconds the change is going to be getting at the input side so delay of 20 nanoseconds that is 10 plus 20 
at t is equal to 30 nanoseconds the change will take place so this is what 30 nanoseconds over here okay now the output will go to 1 the output will go to 1 over here so this this is what the complete diagram because g2 is going to be responding for the two changes one is nothing but input the other is nothing but output of g1 so it will be changing twice so this is what the diagram which represents make it as this is t0 and it is t1 t2 t3 so b is going to be the right answer the right answer for this question is b thank you